Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. This is just a quick little tidbit that I got in my email. Um, I'm, I'm going to be more careful about what I share, but um, I think this this is pretty, you know, innocuous. Not anything that hopefully will get me thrown in jail. Apparently, they're going to start um, not just taking videos down, but actually looking for to put people in jail over this coronavirus thing. I mean, uh, what, do they want to start a panic or something? I mean, I, that just doesn't make any sense to me. Does it make sense to you? This is Sunday, February 23rd, and it's 8, 10 p.m., and, um, earlier when I read this from our sister that sent it to me, the, the little, you get like a little thing that you're supposed to click on and it's supposed to open up and show you the picture they sent and it didn't open up. But now that I've gone back to, um, try to eliminate any more email I could real quick before I start praying. Um, I wanted to go ahead and show this because now I can see the pictures and I can probably get a little piece of one for the, um, what do you call it, that custom thumbnail. All right, she said, um, I won't give her name because she didn't, Tell me to share it, but I don't think it's not anything personal. It's just something she was sharing that's out there that you can look up your own self. And she calls it predictive programming. She says, Good morning, Jeannie. I have no idea why my last email did not go through. I wanted to talk to you about something I saw the other day when my daughters were watching a movie called hedgehogs. Now I have not ever seen this but perhaps some of you have. I was not watching the movie but during the last about seven minutes of the movie something caught my attention and I started watching. There in the movie was a news reporter and she started talking about a virus that was an epidemic and was believed to be caused by certain animals. She was of oriental background. Then, a doctor named Dr. Huang, very common Chinese name, started talking on this cartoon news broadcast saying they have found out the virus is not from these animals and that they created a vaccine. In the next scene, you see a large group of Asian people with masks over their mouth and nose, and they start to remove the masks off their face. It really floored me. When I look at the movie details, it was created in 2016. I took a couple of screenshots, but if you really want to see what I was talking about, find the movie, Hedgehogs. We have it on Netflix. And watch the last 7 to 10 minutes of it. I feel predictive programming is Satan's way of mocking the scripture in Amos about how God will do nothing without revealing it to his servants. Well, it's, I think, and y'all correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't there somewhere that says, it might be in one of the extra biblical books, where Satan had to agree to tell us before he did something? I could be wrong, but I think that's right. Maybe this is how he agreed to do it, through programming. I don't know for sure. All right. But anyway, she could be right. 
um, that it's Satan's way of mocking the scripture in Amos about how God will do nothing without revealing it to his servants and the prophets first. I feel it's, that's why there is predictive programming. He likes to twist lies and fantasy in with the truth. Well, that's the truth. That way, people are blind and don't realize the true reality when it hits them. And then they think this stuff could never be reality. I am disgusted. Yeah, seriously. So this one picture, it looks like everyone's in maybe an airport. Perhaps they're looking up. They all have masks on, but they're, looks like they're about to take them off. One boy has his off, another one's nearly off, another lady is reaching for hers, yeah, and she's getting hers off, so they must be watching a big, huge screen TV in whatever building they're at, or they could be in in a place something similar to Times Square where they have big TVs outside. I don't know. Now this picture is of uh, like a TV um, report. It's called Daily News. The guy looks to be uh, I don't think Japanese. I think more like Indian. Oh, this is Dr. Huang, domestic biological head Dr. Huang. Respiratory virus epidemic is about to be eliminated, is what it says. And scientists have found a way to eliminate the virus. The city will, that's on the little ticker tape, it goes by at the bottom. Okay, that's in the movie Hedgehogs. If any of y'all want to look into it, I just thought I'd share that for anybody that's interested in predictive programming. I don't have Netflix anymore, so I can't look it up, but that's okay. I thought some of y'all might want to. Okay, um, I'm still waiting to see um, Aaron's... Let's see, what's his name? Aaron? Um... Exalted Lamb 1, um, he was talking about putting out a video, um, but he had a lot of work to do on it. His videos take a lot of work. Well, anyway, I'll let you go with that, and um, I'll talk to you later. Let's all stay in prayer for all the cities that are under quarantine. There are several. I want to tell you about the movie, the video I saw, but I'm like, I I really got to pray about how what what the Lord wants me to put up and share or not. I wouldn't do real good in prison. <laughs> I don't know how true that is, how serious they are about that, you know. I just don't know. Maybe I'll link it in the description box. It's just the version I tend to believe is true. We have no reason to fear, but I fear for my loved ones. Let's keep praying. Prayer is awfully powerful as we have seen. And, um, you know that letter I shared the other day? 
the lady only read parts of the highlighted letter. It talked about the doctor that um, well, let's just say he turned out to be a Christian and he got to talk to a lot of those patients in that hospital hospital that they threw up in 10 days which was not even a hospital but a housing unit basically anyway I was so happy to hear that how many I wonder how many accepted Jesus on their deathbed. And that was one of my prayers, that that's what would happen. And I pray that's happening all over the world. All right. With that, I'll say bye for now. I'll talk to you later.